Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom and welcome to my non-Marvel Blu-ray Steelbook update. And this update is going to be for December and kind of some of November 2014. Uh, I kind of do these every so often. And like I said, this is going to be my non-Marvel films because that's what I tend to collect uh, primarily. But let's have a look what I've picked up in uh, those couple of months. So we'll start off with Akira. Now, I'll be the first to say, I'm not actually a huge anime fan to be honest. I used to kind of like it a little bit when I was a little bit younger. Um, but I sort of saw this Akira movie sort of relatively cheap. And it is one of the kind of seminal sort of anime movies. So I sort of, I'll, I'll pick it up because, you know, it is a pretty decent film. And this deal looks quite nice. And uh, basically, it's a kind of uh, not embossed at all. It's all kind of like a, a flat finish. It's quite a nice sort of J card there. I'll just take it off. And I, I kind of quite like the kind of the minimalist approach on this one, actually. I think it kind of works. This one's unsealed, so I'll be able to uh, show you inside. Uh, and you actually get quite a nice little um, book containing sort of art from the actual movie itself. So it's quite a nice little pick up there. And as I say, I didn't pay a hell of a lot for it, so why not pick it up? Uh, the next one is actually a Christmas present for me. And this one's actually uh, Leon. And this was a exclusive to the Canadian retailer Future Shop. And they've done a kind of a range of movies with um, this kind of project pop art. So it's basically sort of um, art that's unique to them. And Leon is one of my kind of favourite films, I have to say. So I was very pleased to get this kind of uh, still book. And they're, all, you know, they're made in kind of limited numbers. This one's sealed up, so I'm not going to be able to open it up for you, I'm sorry to say. Uh, now, this is one of the few Region A uh, Blu-rays that I actually own now. I've only got um, this and two others, one of which I'll show you in a second. But nonetheless, it is a fantastic looking still book and a little bit different to that of the collection. Uh, and the second uh, of those Future Shop Blu-rays is The Fifth Element. Um, so an another you know, fantastic movie, sci-fi movie, actually by the same director, ironically. And again, this is part of the Project Pop Art. And once again, this is going to be a Region A release. And I haven't got a Fifth Element Blu-ray still book, so I was kind of, you know, again, very pleased to pick this one up. And there it is. Again, exclusive to a Future Shop uh, which do quite decent exclusives, I have to say. Uh, everyone knows the Iron Man uh, Holy Grail of future sh of um, steelbooks coming from them. Uh, next up, we have Godzilla 3D. Now, uh, this one, uh, a lot of people don't like the fact that the 3D load is actually kind of imprinted on the actual steelbook itself. Doesn't really bother me, to be quite honest. Um, you know, it's quite a fun movie. I actually prefer the metal pack. There's a picture that there's a like a picture of the, the kind of the tail that comes down here. I have to say I think I prefer that. Um, but I wasn't overly fond of the movie to be quite honest. But again, I picked this up for quite cheap, so I didn't mind getting this one too much. But um, there you go. That is the Godzilla UK steelbook. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Um, fantastic movie. I think one of uh, 2014's best, and what a fantastic cover to this still book. I mean, it's really striking looking, and it's quite similar to um, the future uh, future pack from Fox that did the, for the for the previous movie as well. So it looked great sort of side by side of this one. Uh, this one basically the the logo here is uh, debossed, and you've actually got this kind of this streak of colour down Caesar's face here, which I think looks quite good. Yeah. And this one has the um, J card, which I'll take off in a minute. So, nice looking steelbook. Uh, next up we have Red 2, which I have actually picked up before, but I, I traded it. And um, I managed to pick this one up just for a, a few pounds, to be honest, in CEX. So I thought, well, why not? Why not pick it up again and sort of add it to the collection? Uh, ironically, I haven't actually seen this film. Even though I bought it twice, uh, I still haven't actually seen it. So I've seen the first movie and it, I thought it was okay. 
and uh, have yet to see this one. So one day I might actually get around to watching this. Um, one of my favourite still books that I've picked up in this period was Dead Snow 2, also known as Red vs. Dead. I've done a review of this on my channel. Uh, I think it's a really fun movie. Um, more of an action film than a horror film, but, uh, you know, this is a German uh, steelbook, I believe, uh, although I had to go through the the Spanish um, site to get it, because they had sold out the German one. I got this from the um, Amazon in Spain, basically. But it's a really nice steelbook, and, uh, you know, I'm really pleased to have got it. I stupidly didn't pre-order it, but once I kind of saw... Um, it come out like damn. I got 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 to get it. I managed to pick it up through the Spanish Amazon. There you go. Dead snow. Another steel book which I got for quite cheap, which I probably wouldn't have got anyway, which was the uh, A Good Day to Die Hard. Um, and this is apparently the harder extended cut. I've not seen this version of. I've only seen the kind of the original cut which is pretty much universally disliked but you know who knows if this one's any better I don't think it probably is I've not heard anything saying it's all that much better but anyway here it is in, in steelbook again picked it up for you know not not a lot of money so I wasn't too too, too worried about um you know there you go so there you go so die hard um who knows if we'll see another one of these movies um and if we do hopefully it'll be better Um, Pitch Black, so probably one of the sort of the better Vin Diesel films outside of his kind of Fast and Furious franchise. I, I like this first movie. I wasn't as keen on the sort of the, the sequels, to be honest, but the first one I really liked. And this is obviously a kind of sort of landscape uh, still, which a lot of people don't like. Um, and I have to say, it kind of isn't my favourite, but there you go. Uh, and, and even the image, I don't think, is, is particularly good. I think they could have done a better job with the image. But there you go. Again, I picked it up for a relatively inexpensive price, so who cares? Next up, we have Kick-Ass. Um, now, I actually had a pretty decent uh, limited version on DVD, so I was not too worried about getting on Blu-ray, but I found this, and uh, it was, again, not too expensive, so pick it up. And, you know, again, a simplistic design on the... Um, on the sleeve here, not going to be for everyone, it's completely uh, non embossed or anything, so it's just a kind of this kind of matte sort of finish. Uh, but it's a, you know, I enjoy this movie, um, I actually enjoyed the second one as well, despite that people sometimes don't like the second one. And a three disc version, but pretty decent superhero movie, why not? Uh, this one is the Transformers Age of Extinction Steelbook. And this one is a exclusive to the Entertainment Store, which had this kind of the 3D version and uh, a picture of Grimlock on the front. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't overly thrilled with this movie, so I didn't, can't be bothered to get like every version. Um, but, you know, I obviously went for this one. You know, and it's a nice looking sort of steelbook. Uh, there are two other versions of Transformers that you can get, I believe, uh, with different sort of images on there. But, you know, there you go. This one is exclusive in the UK, at least, to uh, the entertainment store, which used to be Play.com. Uh, I also picked up Battlestar Galactica, The Plan. Uh, so this is basically a kind of Cylon spin-off movie to the actual TV show. Now, I watched the entire TV show, but I haven't actually ever watched this sort of movie before so you know I found it on uh, on Steelbook and, and I've picked it up don't know if I'll ever get around to watching it if I'm completely honest because it was such a long time ago that I watched this uh, as a TV show I don't know if I'd really remember all that much about it but you know I, I quite like the design of the Cylons not as much as the original Cylons I have to say but there you go so I just thought it was quite a nice looking Steelbook so I picked it up And uh, the next one I've got, again, was just a very, very cheap pickup at CEX. And this is the Prince of Persia Steelbook. Again, a movie I haven't seen. Um, who knows if I'll ever actually get around to watching it. Uh, and again, this was just like £2.50 or something. So it really wasn't very expensive. So I just sort of, you know, 
whipped it up when I saw it. But, you know, it's a, an okay looking seal because I wouldn't dislike this blue sort of bar on the top here. And the final steelbook I got for this update is Django Unchained. Um, obviously a Quentin Tarantino movie starring Jimmy Fox. So, I didn't like this movie as much as other Tarantino films. I know this, this has a lot of fans. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty good movie, but I personally don't think it's one of his strongest films, but there you go. But nonetheless, the steelbook is, uh, is quite good and it has that kind of the... You know the kind of the very sort of stylistic art to it, and you know I quite like these kind of more simplistic still books sometimes. So there you go. That is my update uh, for the end of 2014, December November 2014. Thanks for watching. And if you want to check out my Marvel collection, have a look for those videos because that is why I sort of collect proper. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.